Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Hello ladies and gentlemen, well, it's another review. This is a big one. There is a queso craze sweeping the nation. Everyone's talking about this. I couldn't, couldn't believe how many news articles there were about this burger here. Everyone was just so amazed that Wendy's put queso on a burger. Mm. I, I thought they'd done that in the past, but I guess not because everyone's, you know, acting like this is the biggest thing ever. But who knows? This actually, you know, they might have done it right. I know personally, I've, something I've witnessed. Wendy's, the quality of some of their things has just not been the best lately. You know, there's been a marked decline. But this might be it. This might be what I kind of sit there and reassess things and say, hey, you know, Wendy's, they still got a little bit. This is their bacon queso burger. This comes with beef. It comes with applewood smoked bacon. It comes with, and this is what everyone's talking about, their poblano queso. It comes with fire roasted salsa. Also comes with shredded cheddar cheese and a toasted red jalapeno bun. The price for this is $5.87, so you could say either that this is Wendy's kind of taking a little southwestern twist with a burger, or this is Wendy's disgracing Mexican food, whatever you want to call it. Really? Here it is, fresh out of the box. Mm. You know, did I say it has onions on it? If not, it has onions on it too. And I know that for a fact it was there on the, the picture. From the front view, it actually, it actually looks a bit like it did in the ad. I mean, I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised. If you look at that, that, that actually does look like the picture. Uh, and that's a rarity. You know? It's actually, I'm surprised by that. Now the other side looks more natural, of course, you know, where you see all the queso dripping. Um, but, you know, that's just the nature of this thing. So they, they don't call it a bacon queso burger for a reason. Okay, well, we know what's on it. I think you know what's on it. I think we all know what's on it. We know what it looks like. Is there anything else? I don't think so. So let's just give it a shot. It's the bacon queso burger from Wendy's going in. Alright, that was an odd first bite. Now here's the real first first bite. What happened to the burger? I took a bite and... Let's move where the burger is. Here we go. Things more messy than I would have anticipated to eat. I'm not. I'm not personally a big fan of that, but it's just, you know, this is just how it is.
So, you know, the queso craze is full blown. Go to Wendy's, you know, everyone's talking about it, gotta try it. You're sitting there, you're waiting online to get your queso burger. And the place is crowded, so, you're, you know, there's a line actually on in the rare occasion. You're waiting online, you're sitting around. This little kid comes up to you while you're waiting online. You don't know who this person is, they just walk up to you. They look up at you and they say, excuse me, where does queso come from? How do you respond to that? Do you, do you tell them the truth and, you know, kind of mention the plastic or do you just make them feel better and just mention the dolphins? That's for you to decide and I think one day we're all going to be faced in a situation like that and I just hope you'll make the right choice. Uh, in these reviews, I try not to really include personal bias, so I'm going to mention that, get that out of the way, right there, and I'm not going to let that influence things. This sandwich, I think, is one that is designed to be eaten messy. I'm not a big fan of messy foods. I really don't like messy foods, so if you feel the same way, it's going to be a nuisance while you're eating this cheese, and it literally is like a molten substance where... You bite it, and it's very sticky. It's going to stick to any surface that it touches. If you're eating this um, sandwich, and it's got all the queso on it, the queso is going to stick to your mouth. It's going to stick to your, you know, your lips, and, you know, anywhere else that it touches, your hands, your fingers, and, uh, God forbid, your clothes. So please remember that, and uh, personal bias out of the way there. When it comes to the quality of everything else, surprisingly enough, this wasn't as bad as I, you know, I had feared. The burger itself, surprisingly, was, was quality. Um, that took me off guard, you know. Sometimes I think their burgers, maybe because it's just the square shape that they take, always makes me think that it's always this frozen mold, you know, that they just take out of the freezer and kind of throw it like a little frisbee or something onto the grill. Um, but this is actually pretty good. The burger itself is actually pretty... You know, it wasn't even tough. It was actually juicy, flavorful. Um, you know, and it, it really, it wasn't tough at all. I mean, it was, when I bit into it, that piece just separated right off. So at least that's a little testament to the quality there. Um, so that was a nice little sign there. The applewood smoked bacon, too, is actually better than I would have expected it. Uh, it was actually pretty flavorful. Um, fatty, albeit, but good still. Now then we come to the main components of this. The... I believe it was the fire roasted salsa. I think that's one of those things that they treat perhaps mostly as a garnish, where they say it's there, but you really can't taste it, and they're just saying it to make it sound fancy. I couldn't really taste that. The onions add a little bit of potency, but I'll explain where that kind of comes in. The shredded cheddar cheese also kind of mixes into things. Now we're going to be talking about the main thing that we all want to know, the queso. How does that influence this burger? How is it? Well, if you're a lover of cheese, you're going to like this. You know, you're going to enjoy it. Because it's very cheesy. It's like a liquid cheese, but it's not, you know, the thing with queso is that it's kind of like a, a nacho cheese, but it's more of an upscale version of that. You know, it's not the garbage that you'll be getting, you know, at a, whatever, a movie theater or something, you know, or just in some little packet somewhere, a cheese whiz, or any of that. It's, it's a lot nicer than that, at least. Um, but it still has that really thick, um, liquidy consistency, and it is very cheesy. But the thing that you notice about this is those poblano peppers. They aren't just there for decoration. They actually pack some spice to it as well. So when you're eating it, this spicy cheese sauce, that's really what it is. You know, it gets a lot of that cheesiness. It really gets into everything. You're also able to get a lot of spice with it, too, so it really does give you a spicy kick. Um, the onions give you a little bit of their potency as well, which kind of adds to that. Even if it's not spice, it still makes you want to grab some of the water. Uh, and the cheddar cheese mixes in there, too, and makes it even more cheesier. So think of it this way, right? It does have a little bit of a southwestern uh, style to it. It's good quality overall, better than I would have expected. It's messy, though, but it's very cheesy. has a nice little spice to it as well, so get a soft drink ready because you might need it and uh, get some napkins too. 
Now, price-wise for this, it's $5.87, but it is a bit overpriced. But, you know, all things considered, I think it is a good novelty sandwich this time around. Um, better than I would have expected it. And with that, I'm going to have to give this an 8.4 out of 10. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host for the Report of the Week. Take care. We'll see you later. That is all. Goodbye.